Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how we can create a Polaroid collage using GIMP. And as you can see here, I used only one image, but I will tell you at what point of the process what exactly you need to do to save some time and create uh, each of these with different image. So let's get started. First thing I'll delete this layer. And uh, for the background I'll use this. Of course you can use any uh, image that you want. Next thing I'll do is I'll create a new layer and here I'll click on centimeters and I'll use a standard size of a Polaroid instant photo to make them look more realistic. There are several standard sizes. You can Google them if you like and, uh, and choose any that you prefer but I'll use one of them here. Now for the overall size of the print, for the width I'll enter 10.2 and 10.5 for the height and click OK. Next thing I'll do is go here to the background color and it's white right now. I'm going to make it a little bit gray, something like this. Click OK and then go to edit, fill with background color. Let's move this over here and now this is the point where if you want to make uh, each Polaroid with different image you will have to duplicate this and uh, from this point on you have to do everything that I'm going to show you uh, for one of the images with uh, every different image. So you can end up with uh, different Polaroids and uh, different images in them. But I'm not going to use them, so I'll just delete them. Next thing I'll do is I'll uh, drop a shadow here. Filters, lights and shadow, drop shadow. And uh, you can use the defaults if you like. Let's see how they look. But the shadow is kind of too strong. So I'm going to try to make it a little bit softer. Here I'll enter 5. 10 for the blur radius and 70 for the opacity. Of course you can experiment with these and uh, choose the settings that you like the best. Let's click OK. Next thing I'll do is I'll open the image as a layer. Select this image and open it as a layer. As you can see the image is very big so we have to scale it. Make sure this is closed here so we can affect both the width and the height. And let's scale this. It's still too big. Maybe just a little bit more. So I can keep as much of the image as I can. So I over here. Next thing, crop tool. Make sure we are on current layer only. Again, here we'll select centimeters, so we can uh, crop the size of the imaging area. Here I'll enter 9.2, and before that, let's clear this. Before that, I need to make a selection here 9.2 and uh, because I reset the tool we are in pixels again let's go ahead click current layer only select this centimeters 9.2 7.2 8.2 And the reason why this is not working is because I pressed current layer before I um, entered the measurements here. That's why I can't go outside the area here. So I have to go back and click this off 
reset this click here make sure I'm on centimeters 9.2 7.3 now I'm gonna click enter and now I have the area that I want I'll move this to the place that I want to be let's put it over here and now I'm going to click current layer only and click here to apply this also go to layer auto crop layer and make sure the layer boundary fits the image now the next thing I want to do is to align this correctly so go to the alignment tool first I'll select this layer here let's click away select this layer and then with the shift key I'll select this one and I'll make sure that they're aligned like this and escape the tool now let's put the measure tool to use go really close here and this is 14 pixels you can see that down here so we need to make this area 14 pixels too right now it's 10 so let's grab the move tool measure 2 again let's measure this 14 get a little bit closer this is 12 so we have to move it two pixels down again the measure tool now this is 14 pixels let's just make sure here it's 14 too and over here it's 14 too so right now this is aligned correctly now next I'm going to merge this down merge this down too and now I'm going to duplicate this four times grab the move tool move them over here and I can use the rotate tool now to rotate this around a little bit here select this one for the best results Now I can position these in any way that I want. Let's do something like this. Let's move this one above this. So this one like that you see so we can have some shadow here and maybe we can move this one above this one like this so that's basically it for this tutorial if it was useful subscribe like the video share it bye for now